Hello everyone! In this quick tip video, I decided to go back to the basics and show you how you can boost your analysis using map charts in Spotfire. Using map charts doesn't have to be difficult. Spotfire allows even the complete beginners to enter in the world of geoanalytics. I have a data set containing contract type, city, country, and the respective longitude and latitudes of the city. So if I go to my visualization types flyout and select a map chart, you will notice that Spotfire automatically pinpoints every city that it's uh, mentioned in our data set. Let's first navigate a little bit our map chart. So on the right hand side, you can see our zoom in and zoom out. This is quite self-explanatory. If I click on this panning mode, I will be able to move around the map wherever I want without marking anything. And if I click on the marking mode, I can mark on my map chart as in any other visualization in Spotfire. On the left side, I have layers. And you'll notice that I have two layers, a map layer, which displays the geographical map in the background, and a marker layer, which places the markers in the map based on the geographical data available in the loaded data table. I'll go to visualization properties to understand a little bit more how it works in the background. If I go to layers and select my marker layer and click on settings and go to positioning, I can notice that Spotfire has automatically recognized my longitude and latitude columns as coordinate columns. This is how it managed to pinpoint the cities on the map. Keep in mind that if your longitude and latitude columns are called X and Y, for example, you will need to do that manually from these settings. If I go to colors, I can change the color of my marker, for example, blue, with size, I can change the marker size. Uh, with shape, I can change uh, the marker shape. I can make it uh, as pies. I'm not going to do that now, um, but you get the point. You might notice that multiple cities from the same country appear in my data set. Maybe what I'm really interested in is the total number of cities per country. So let's make this map even cooler by adding a gradient color to each country based on how many cities are listed in the data set. I will click add and select a feature layer. Now features display areas or objects on a map. The features are usually administrative areas that are placed on the map based on the geographic information provided in our data. From the drop down menu I will select Global Data Digital Marketing and Analytics. This is my data set. I will go to Geocoding and select World Countries and select Auto Match. You'll notice that Feature By is automatically selected as Country. I'll now go to Colors and for Columns I'll select Country and Aggregation Count. You can see that the color mode is gradient. Let's leave it as blue. I'll close the settings. Now close the map chart properties. And if I zoom in, I'll see that now I have a gradient color based on the amount of um, cities that are there for each country. I can also select the feature layer to be my interactive layer. So when I click on a country, I mark the country and, and not the cities. And I can change the markers for my cities not to be blue, but let's say dark red. And then I can explore my map. And that was it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next quick tip.